Hi, welcome to the Post Oak Hotel in Houston. I am Julie Tan, managing broker of Lynn Realty, and I am here on a very special episode today to show you what a hotel room can teach us about staging a home for sale or for rent. All right, come down the hall with me. You are watching Smarter Real Estate weekly on Wednesdays, where I take you on some of my real estate adventures and also arm you with practical strategies to be a smarter buyer, seller, tenant, or landlord. And you know what? We are going to look at a gorgeous, beautiful corner room with views to die for. Let me take you in. So this is special because my husband and I are actually celebrating our 14th wedding anniversary. Yes, here we are. Okay, so I'm going to take you through the different elements. Um, and you know what? If you think about whenever you've been to a nice hotel or a model home for a builder, for example, there are certain elements that you just love, right? When you go in, you just feel good. You want to stay. You want this to be your home. You want your home to look like this. And let me just point out why. I'm going to break it down to you from a design perspective and also a real estate perspective. So if you notice, first of all, this would kind of be like a foyer, right? So this is a, a, a room that has um, a bathroom, a bedroom, a living room, a little study, and a bar area. So it's kind of like um, a little one-bedroom condo in essence, right? But you can extrapolate it to make it a larger home, and these uh, elements and, and basics still apply. So we have a console table right here in the hallway, in the foyer, and it's not too wide where it juts out and really obstructs anything. It's just the right size for you to place you know, some items on. You could decorate it with a piece of art over the console table, perhaps a small vase with flowers um, or another little small decorative tabletop item, and that would work. Let's head into the bathroom. So double French doors lead you in. And if you notice, the materials and the colors that are used in here are very on trend right now. So you have the gray and white tones and the different shades of those colors in the marble and the inlay and the inset of the tile pattern. And just this, again, one little pot with some flowers coming out. You don't need a lot of clutter. You could, for example, add a bottle of bubbles, you know, um, a little basket of rose petals or something or bath bombs or something like that. And that could add to it. But you definitely do not want to fill up the space or clutter it up. That's a, uh, something you're going to hear me say a lot is just don't clutter, make sure it's clean and it looks nice, okay, because people don't like to see clutter. The more things, the more individual items in a space, then the smaller the space looks and the busier it looks and the worse a potential buyer or renter feels when they're looking at the home. Now, not every bathroom is appointed as well as this one with a built-in TV screen in the wall, but if you have one, sure. That should help you sell the house faster. Okay, uh, your bathroom countertop here, again, just a beautiful uh, marble material, I believe it is. That's what it looks like to me, even if it's not. Uh, marble is great to use in a bathroom. Not so great in a kitchen because it's more porous, and so then any spills like spaghetti sauce or red wine would stain it more easily. But in the bathroom, there's really not a lot you could spill that would stain it. And of course, again, very decluttered, right? Just a few folded towels, you've got a lotion and a soap, the nice chrome fixtures, um, and then even down below, nicely folded towels like this, not messy, right? So of course, when you're opening your home up to show, it's a bit challenging in terms of how you live your daily life. Normally, you might have toothpaste and toothbrushes and floss and all sorts of things on top of your counter, but that's cluttering it up. That works for your daily living, but not so much when you're staging your home. So we want to declutter that stuff and hide it away in drawers and lower cabinets to leave just the prettiest stuff on top. And same with any side shelves like this, you know, a couple of tumblers, a tissue box, you know, some cotton balls or Q-tips is perfectly fine. Let's take a look at the water closet. So here again, you have a nice piece of art over the toilet and you'll notice there's wallpaper. Now, today's wallpaper is not your 19... 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, whatever older wallpaper that's busy and dated looking. No, it is textured. It is abstract. It is nice and modern and elegant, okay? There's different um, things that you can see, almost light reflective foil, for example. And so that can be used in all sorts of places uh, from an accent wall to a bathroom to um, the wall behind a bar, for example, slash butler's pantry, and also uh, the back wall of a built-in bookcase, for example, in your study or your family room. 
Okay, stainless, or excuse me, not stainless, frameless, I should say. I'm hungry. It's almost dinner time. <laughs> a frameless glass shower door is still what we prefer in higher end homes. And of course, if you step inside, oh my goodness, this one even comes with a mirror. So you can check yourself out in the built in mirror. Um, having multiple shower heads, the main one and either a second shower head or a pull down sprayer is of course desirable. Um, some people have like the one on top, you know, for the waterfall, plus the one on the side, plus a couple of spraying jets. Sometimes that's overkill to some people, so I'm not saying you gotta install all that. And then of course having a nice nook and again, just keeping it simple, very few items. The rule of threes also applies very nicely when you're designing anything. If you're putting, you know, three decorative items like candlesticks or balls or whatever on a table, um, having three together just kind of makes it nice and symmetrical and it's nice. Okay, let me take you, oh, before I forget, look up to the ceiling at this fabulous sparkly chandelier. So a bathroom should be a glamorous place, a relaxing oasis. That's what you're trying to achieve, a spa-like uh, atmosphere. And so having a chandelier right there is wonderful. And you know what? It actually does go with building code. It is not close enough to the bathtub where if you come out of the bathtub, you're going to be able to hit it and it falls down and electrocutes you. So that works where it is. Okay, having it over the bathtub, we see it a lot, but technically not up to code. Okay, before I forget, there's something beyond the curtains there that I'm going to show you in a second. Now, the only reason you should have your curtains drawn like this is if you have a horrible view. I mean, just really bad. Like there's a landfill, high voltage power lines or whatever outside your windows. Otherwise, you should open them up to let in natural light because that always makes people happier. It looks nicer. And especially if you have a view to showcase like a lake or something else like I'm going to show you in just a minute. Okay, let's take a look at the bedroom. So again, a well-made, nicely made bed is always great with not dated, but very elegant bedding. And as you can see, it's the design classic of the karate chopped pillows, okay? It makes them look like little fortune cookies, but it makes them stand up, they plump them up, so that way they're not flat or falling over. And so that's always a good technique and a good go-to. And look, more texture up here, you know, with this headboard, this is actually a fabric um, over a padded board here. And so something like that is very elegant. Uh, and then, oh gosh, check this out. Again, if only we could all have this, a hidden built-in television. <laughs> all right. And this one is two-sided, so you can watch it from your living room too. Okay. While that's going up, I do want to point out the living room. So again, we have the coffee table here and we want it to be simple. You can have a couple of trays like they have. You could have a decorative item. I think this is maybe a little sparse, but we're in a hotel, in a home, you'd want to make it a little bit more homey. And then of course the couch here, the, the pillows are not karate chopped, but these are a little bit more structured pillows. So it kind of works. They stand up. And then the study, this would, this is the desk in here, but if this was your study, you would want it also to be a little bit more minimalist. Again, not a bunch of clutter. Like you may have papers stacked up because that's what you are working on, but that doesn't look so good. So having a nice little lamp and, you know, a piece of technology, you may not have a telephone, but if you have a computer, that's fine. A book or something there um, is great. And then a chair. All right, let's swing around and take a look at the wardrobe. So this is a built-in and whenever you have built-ins, that just adds value to the home. And here the bar has actually a mirrored back any sort of mirror, but you don't want to do it excessively. It actually adds more depth and makes it look bigger and it's brighter and it's nice. And then you can stare at yourself as you're mixing yourself a drink. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then of course, smart home technology is always in and it's becoming more and more important and desirable. A few nicely placed books here um, makes nice, um, you know, tabletop centerpiece, for example, on your coffee table or on any built-in. Okay. I'm ready to reveal what's behind those drapes and shears. Again, more smart home technology to open it up. So the Post Oak Hotel sits along the 610 Loop in Houston, which is in the heart of Uptown, and the views are just spectacular. So if you have views like this, do not be shy and do not hide them. Do not close your curtains, window treatments, blinds, whatever you have. Open them so that everybody can see uh, what a great view that is. And especially if you have a corner view like this, like I have... Um, 
gone to homes where I have either tried to sell or um, lease them and they have just expansive lake views, for example, or views like this of a skyline and um, the traffic <laughs> that will, you'll be stuck in coming home, but that's beside the point. Uh, and so anyway, you want to show all of this off because the buyer, if they're looking for a property like this, they're probably going to love it too. So if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and sit down and relax and turn on some TV here. And thank you for watching Smarter Real Estate Weekly on Wednesdays. Please like and subscribe on Facebook and YouTube so you don't miss an episode. And feel free to reach out to me uh, with any questions, comments, feedback, or whatnot. And I hope to see you again very soon. I hope you learned a lot from a hotel room on how to stage and ha, huh, look what's on TV. This very room and some other rooms and areas of the hotel. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Bye.